Ukraine has been fighting Russia for more than 500 days now. Though it doesn't seem like the fighting will be over anytime soon, Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur wants to celebrate the little wins. Kaylee Kirby joins us live in studio tonight. So Kaylee, what are some of those wins? Melissa, Congresswoman Kaptur says it's the resources that have been provided, the organizations that have raised money, and the Toledoans who have stepped up to welcome Ukrainians to the glass city. The last time Danilo Lazarev saw his parents was August 2021. It can, I can get very homesick sometimes. I really, really miss them. But at the end of the day, they are happy for me. He came to Toledo as part of a student exchange program known as Flex and hasn't been able to return home. But tonight, he felt closer to his parents. All thanks to Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur and the Ukrainian ambassador. You know, during this past 16 months, the American people stood shoulder to shoulder with us, and we wouldn't be able to do it without this support. The two spoke with Ukrainian refugees, families, and exchange students about the state of the country and what's being done to help right now. She's saying it's overwhelming. Um, especially uh, seeing where we come from, being uh, a thousand miles away, uh, seeing someone truly care. Uh, we appreciate it and um, we are very grateful. It was also a chance to highlight the people and organizations that have helped since the war began. We must hold the line because if not, history teaches us the conflict will spread. And so we have to push Russia back. She's got plenty of land. For Danilo, spending time with others who are in the same situation as him is comforting. He says he's thankful for the people who have made his time here easier. This city as a whole has done so much for me and so much for Ukraine in general that I, I consider it my second home and it's just the people here are amazing. Captor and the Ukrainian ambassador say more work still needs to be done. Right now, they're looking for ways to digitally connect doctors and teachers to the ones in Ukraine. That way, students can continue to learn and people can have access to medical professionals. Live in studio tonight, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.